All right, so today I bring you a wireless DMX extend. You're going to learn this video. How the whole thing works is pretty simple because this way we save a lot of wire. But if you're a mobile DJ, it becomes a super and easy, save a lot of time through in wires. I'll show you how the whole thing works right now. All right, so how we doing everyone? I'm Dario and this is Media Box CNT, where we always bring you the latest tech. In this case today, I bring you a wireless DMX system transmitter and receiver. Now this kit includes one transmitter and three receiver. They are different packages. The nice thing with this, we can connect, we can mix and match. We can use some wire and also we can use the receiver as well too. I'll show you how the whole thing works right now. All right, so exactly what we get, we just got everything out of the box. So what we get, and let me remove this right here. In this case, what we have is the three receivers and one transmitter. I'll show you that simple. So right here, we got it. Sure, you get four in the power adapters. Now, these ones are rechargeable. There are some that, that, some that require power all the time. In this case, this, re this receiver works with battery. Now it takes about maybe an hour to two to charge this thing and it will shoot less about eight hours of run some battery. Now, the nice thing is you save extension cores, but if you're gonna think you're gonna be playing more than eight hours, then what you can do, you can just plug it in and leave it plugged all the time. All right, so make sure you full charge it before the vent. If you're looking right here, we have the power on. By the way, the only thing you need to do is press two times and automatic turns off. It doesn't tell you the instruction that, but eventually I figure it out. So press one to turn it on and two times to turn it off. Here, it show you a red light when it's on, and when you charge it, it becomes a, a it starts blinking green. So that I know requires charger. Now it has available to use up to seven groups. So each group it has a color. So if my transmitter is a red color, the next it needs to be on red color. So the nice thing is, if you want to mismatch in with two DMX, you can have a different groups. So now we have here a three of this. So this is power, right? This thing blinks, it's blinking blue. I don't know if you can see, oh, it's a blue. It's not blinking, actually, it's a blue color right now because this is a, a group two. Right here, you change your colors by just using stuff with the pin here and you change your color. I think you're gonna do this once, right? And no matter when you turn it on, you see the blue color, okay, that's gonna be whatever light I got, right? So it can be all blue color or green or whatever, right? So we can leave it plug it in if we want. So it's pretty simple. I know this one is blue. So let's my, I'm gonna plug this in right into my side of my light or smoke machine, whatever you want. All right, and it's still blue. There's no power through the DMX. The only thing is start blinking when I activate the transmitter. So now if you look at the transmitter, pretty simple power comes here. Yeah, this one requires power. Let me change that and we can see right there. Power, All right, LED light and channels. We see right here, it has a blue light. So if I press right here, there's a bunch, so you have to kind of figure it out, press it, and you see, now we have pink, green, red, and different colors, so I want to leave it blue, by the way, and by default, it's always red. So this is blue, so all my receivers needs to be a blue color. And you can do up to seven, seven channels. So it means I can have seven transmitters, and, and so on as many with you want in all different channels if you have a di different type of DMX or you can extend this into another light and create another a group of lighting. So right now when I did that, remind it, when, when it gets the signal for my DMX, I see that's the green light, always blink green one is, is activated, all right? So only you see the color in the beginning, blue or red color. So now the only thing you need to do is you know, move my light. You see that? So I control my light wireless. Now, another thing we can do, we can sure control lights to cable. So I can connect this and this is changed to another light. And that's fine. If this one is 17, or say I put one, I trust one, and this one is 17, I'll be able to control line one or line two, whatever. It's just the same way if you're gonna use wire. The nice thing with this, you at least you're saving the long run, maybe that 50, 100 feet away from the DJ booth or whatever you're gonna be playing music to control that or if you are on a stage, right? And you have all these crazy lighting connected. If you think you're gonna be playing more than an hour, sure, you can plug this to a power connection or a power outlet and 
so you need to power pull this in and you light and now you can control many lights the instructions are pretty clear it does show you different ideas how to control the lights right and it's pretty simple if we look at some of the ideas right here uh, let me show you this way i think it's somewhere here okay so it shows one transmitter and we can use that another you know receivers and we can desi change the light then we can use a dmx uh, optical splitter right there or we can create different groups here is this one that allows you to connect two channels so we can group that and get the multi channels or we can do that way but also we can put another desi chain there and put another transmitter with another group to another light what if we want to talk to the next light so there's a lot of combination but i think the great idea is we save a wire time laid out and have it all these crazy wires all around try to you know power it up each light i think it's a cool way at least you need only ac power and you don't need a dmx or cable or that's it all right guys so all all the things i'm using for this video i'll leave the link right below this video and i'll see you next time my name is dario and this is media box tnt